I guess a lot of people probably own real estate, but don't know if their properties are cash flowing. Cause like, how would you know what's a good deal? You know what I'm saying? If you just had money and you just wanted to go buy real estate, like how do you know what, if your money, if your, if your money, if your property is making any money or if you're like actually up, I just told you how you have to study. I understand that, but I'm saying, how do you analyze? Like, how do you look at a crib and be like, all right, like, this is a good deal. So you know what I'm saying, like, what you would, okay. Copy. <laughs> all right. So what you do is you have to look at the P and L profit and loss mm -hmm. income expenses, plain and simple. I don't care where the property is at. If you're buying, and this is for, if you're buying a property to be a landlord, this is not fixing and flipping I'm speaking on. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm talking long-term tenants. You okay. understand? I'm not talking fixing and flipping because that's a whole different yeah. formula of learning. You know what I mean? Right. Because this is a landlord conversation that we have. And buying your first rental property is the name of this video. So yeah. we're talking landlording. So you got to- investment. investment you said investment property? Investment property, yeah. So it's kind of big. So, so, I mean, do rental property. Just change right, the title. Well, it's, yeah, yeah. Right? So, when you're looking at a multifamily house or even a single family rental, okay. you got to know what's the gross income, what are all the expenses that comes with owning this property. And after all of that, it's called your net operating income, right? Because okay. you got gross, then you got expenses, and then you have bang, your net. And then from there, once you know what your debt service is, now your NOI is not going to include your debt service or your mortgage payment. So it's a separate calculation now. And then once you have that, you can figure out, okay, is this worth it for me? What's my cash on cash return? Am I making money or not? And then second thing you need to learn is DSCR. Now that I see that this property is worth me making some money, I'm making 10%, 12%, 15% return on my investment after all my expenses, and I'm saving for CapEx expenditures and, and reserves and management fees, all these things. If I got, if there's common areas in a building that I'm buying, I, I counted the light, if there's mm -hmm. sewer, trash, uh, anything, you know what I mean? If I got a lawn, I got somebody who's going to clean this up. Snow removal, I'm in a snowy state. Like, okay, who's, how much is snow removal? You understand what I'm yeah. saying? Like, all of these things have to be taken into consideration. And once now you have that, boom, you have your money that's basically your quote-unquote profit. Okay. And then now, that how long that profit versus now um, your cash on cash return is your profit and how much money you laid out to get the property. And what does that percentage, what does that look like on an annual basis that you're going to make? Are you making 10%, 12%, 15%? Are you making 5%, right? For me, if it's less than 10%, it's not even a conversation for me. 10%. 10%. So if you have $1,000, yeah, you put $1,000, I just want to do easy numbers. You put $1,000 out there and after all your, to buy the property and after all your expenses, you make $100 a month. Okay. Profit. That's a 10% return on your $1,000. So after everything, you need to be able to make 10% on all Correct. of Correct. So when you, um, but you're landlording all of these properties, right? You don't have anybody in between that's like like managing these properties? The property manager, yeah. That's okay. included into, property manager is going to cost you like 10%. Do you, have, your, do you have to have one? Or do you want to do it? What if you have like two properties just like, you know? So yeah. So you have the property manager manage both properties. And well, property, I'm not saying like if it's like a commercial, let's say if it's just like a... A three family. Yeah, so you You got to, two, three families. Is there like a limit on how... Like, what if you just want to do it yourself and save some money? Okay, so let me ask you... Okay, good, good <laughs> cool be, question. I'm, be, I'm okay, being cheap. No, 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 no. <laughs> this is cool. I'm glad you're being cheap, yeah. <laughs> right? So ask yourself, do you want to get a phone call at midnight that the toilet is broken? I mean, I stay up to like three, four. Okay, so, so. do you want to you want to deal with that shit? Not when I'm editing. Okay, that's <laughs> no. not the question. No one cares about so, your no, editing. We're not being emotional. No. We, we, do you want I mean... to deal with your tenants? <laughs> do you want to speak to your tenants? Do you want to deal with their problems? Do you want to chase them for your money? Do you want to deal with the shit when they say they don't want to pay you because they feel like it's too cold in the house mm -hmm. and the heat works perfectly fine? Do you want to deal with that shit? Do you want to be a landlord? Very important question for all of you out here. Do you want to be a landlord?
Because if you want to self-manage, cool, I know some dope investors that self-manage all their properties, and but they built their own property management companies where they have people working directly for them, but they started off self-managing, created their systems, and built their own company to support their business because they're investing at a heavy scale, right? Caesar, prime example, yeah. right? Look at his brother, Lucci. What does Lucci do? He's the property manager. Lucci run around Jersey <laughs> collecting all the rent and dealing with all the shit. Caesar don't he deal with that. He's a property, though. He exactly my point. And they have him, they have Chris, they have, they have a team. They have a team, okay. They built it internally, right? But Caesar got 2,000 plus real estate doors. Yeah. He needs that at this point, right? But for here, you don't need that. You can self manage all you want. Earlier, I'm saying just earlier, like when you, know, you start, like you can self manage. You, you have to do everything yourself. So I'm looking sure. at it the same way. Go yeah. right ahead. So if you're getting, if you're paying your management fee, let's just say you're collecting five thousand dollars gross on rent, okay, and it's going to cost you five hundred dollars a month to pay your property manager. Is it worth your time to invest and pay someone five hundred dollars a month to take basically everything off your hands for you, so you can still be out here free to go get money and not worry about it? Only thing you worried about is collecting your money. Five hundred out of the five thousand? Yeah. Yeah, it's a no brainer for me. I mean, at least. Do, yeah. Is it gonna make or break you to save five hundred dollars? Now, if you brought your deal wrong and your cash flow is tight, then yeah, because you, well, didn't, you, saying, didn't, you yeah. didn't read the book. You didn't read the book and you didn't, and you didn't get the right lender and the right team on your side yeah. because you made a foolish decision. And now you got to pinch pennies because your deal was in a deal. And now you can't afford to pay a property manager because then you'll probably be negative or just breaking even. And nobody mm -hmm. wants to break even. So now you have to do the grunt work. And there's nothing wrong with self-managing your properties. I'm just saying... My time is better spent doing other things. Right. My time is not better spent fielding phone calls about anything. I want to have my... I, now, you have to manage your property manager for sure. Right. You have to manage them. But I don't want to spend... I'm not spending much time with that. If they got a problem, they're going to text me and they're going to email me or they're going to call me. It's really an emergency. I can tell them what I want, da 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 send me videos, pictures, let me see it, okay, da 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 all right, back, you go into the apartment, FaceTime me when you get there, da 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 like, all right, cool, that's minimum type of work for me. I think I think it's more about taking the emotions out of the things that aren't, because people who are, like, tenants... You, you, do you have, like, a gym bell or something on your little board here? It's like, <laughs> it's like a gym sound or something? There, like There you, is one for rants and gems, but I have, I mean... I bro, I need it. some sound effects, okay. because... Ding, 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 nigga. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like what? Yes. Yeah, you don't want to get a phone call about somebody's toilet not working. And Who cares about off. that? Like, you Are just you want to get the you want to get the picture of what's wrong, and then you know fix, fix it. it. How fix much it. is it gonna cost? Yeah. Where, where's the handyman's at? Right. What's the pricing? What's yeah. what, what's the quotes? How many did you get? Okay. Which one you like? Who you have the relationship with? What's the turnaround time? Yeah. I'm making high level executive CEO decisions because I'm running a real estate business. I'm not sitting here trying to do every part. I'm not trying to be, even if I am mom and pop, one property, two property, three, but who cares? I'm running it like it's a high Fortune 500 real estate practice. Okay. I'm not running it like I'm a mom and pop because when you have that mentality of mom and pop, then your actions, how you do anything is how you do everything in life. So if you operate like low level and low vibrational, you're going to be low level and low vibrational. Period. Facts. How you do anything is how you do everything. I'm not trying to be out here running the rat race. I'm trying to run it up so I can get as many properties as I choose to. And I'm free to do what I need to do. So if you want to go ahead and hire property managers or don't, it's on you. Pick your poison. <laughs> some say potato, some say potato. I don't know. Yeah. You know what I mean? Do you.